Hello, welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Plainside or Ryu Takasu, depends where you know me from. So today we're going to make a brick wall. What do I mean? Uh, a title 2. This is what I mean. No. Why are you like that? Anyways. Uh, let, let me run this out real quick. Then I can show you a preview. Uh, story about the fan in the background. It My laptop gets really hot during summer, so it's cooling off the laptop a little bit more. So, as you can see, it's rendering. We are going to make a brick wall by usage of a cloner, which holds two hypernerbs, which are two dif different bricks. And, well, it's gonna look sort of like this. Yeah, it looks pretty damn awesome if you ask me. So let's go back to Untitled 4 and get started out. For why you want to do 50, by you can just click to create a sphere. Uh, sphere? What? Cube. Or you can hold down and ho hover over the cube if you want. Don't do it. it it's horrible. Uh, C, you want to do set at 100. Now we want to add an FFD deformer. Add that to the cube. And for just for ease of matter, I'm just going to resize it. So it looks a little bit cleaner. Leave the grip points, go back to the cube, put the segments to five. And now go to the FFD, select the live selection tool and set it to points mode. This way we can edit the FFD and the cube will deform. Although we are going to run into a problem. And there it is. So I'm gonna undo that. Hit the cube, hold down Alt or yeah, Alt, it's on Mac 2, I believe. And click on the hypernerbs. This way the cube automatically gets added to an hypernerbs hierarchy. This way everything will look smooth and we don't have to worry about it. Sort of. So. And just drag points, I would say. Just shape it like you want. It's more of an old style brick wall, it's not like modern or anything. Otherwise it would be more square-ish, I want to say. Uh, move this in a bit. And it's all about tweaking here. Uh, just make what you like. Uh, I'm actually making sort of... Well, one should be fine actually. I could do it with one, but I'm not going to, of course. So. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or Command C, Command V. Not sure how it Mac works. I don't have one. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so we just copied our hypernerbs, including the cube and FFD. So on the this FFD, just deform it a little bit different. Make it not look the same. Uh, I'm actually going to hide these points uh, just not sure how that will eh, eh, doesn't look too bad uh, oh wow well, that doesn't look good Select that one Move it back up uh, well just customize it how you want basically uh, no there. Damn it. So we can't see it, but there's actually a point here in the middle which I am trying to grab. Uh, there we go. Uh. Alright, so I dragged it all the way up. Why? Just to create a bit of a bulge at the top. Mm. It's, a bit, it's a little bit too much. Sad little. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, so I'm going to undo that. I did that, by the way, by holding on Alt and just clicking on it twice. 
which hides the lines and everything else, including from the render viewer, but you don't see those lines in the rendering. In the rendering. So, just make it look a bit nicer. Add a cloner by going to MoGraph Cloner. Uh, select both. You can just hold down your mouse button and select them. And just drag them into the cloner. So, in the cloner you want to set the mode to Grid Array. Put uh, the Z counts to 1. And leave these counts. The size you want to edit though. So, how do you want to edit them? Well, basically you want to do sort of like this. You want to keep distance between them, but just a little. Don't like this. Alright, so now we got our brick wall, but there's empty space. Add a cube. Just plain old add a cube and just size it a bit. To well, about the proportions of the whole thing, but not completely. Mm. I'm just going to make a quick uh, texture here. Add it to the cube. Uh, I'm just making sure there's no weird clipping going on. I don't know if you saw it, but there's actually a small clip happening here doesn't seem to be in this one so everything is fine I can just delete this we're not going to use that ever ever so you want to go to your quantum browser I actually looked this up already and I was looking at the concretes we have available and uh, well in the example I used this one but I didn't like it that much so I'm going to try it with this one instead and you want to go to blank? No, brick. Brick. What? Uh, uh, brick. CK. <coughs> so we got our textures. These are from the what's it called? Uh, Grayscale Gorilla Texture Kit Pro. Uh, you will have to buy that. Uh, it's not that I can give away this textures freely. Uh, they're under a license, so I'm afraid you have to buy it. Anyways, let's take the concrete, put it on the cube. And now you want to go to the projection, put it to flat. Go to uh, texture mode, texture, texture access mode. Hit this, so you're in access mode. Hit the cube, to be sure. And as you can see, we, you get this uh, yellow square. And pretty much you want to size it up. And let me add these. Uh, let's do it like this. Alright, now you can see the texture really good. It's really crisp, I must say. Maybe I scaled it a bit too much. Uh, a little bit smaller. Alright, that seems to be fine. So we're going to do about the same with the bricks. Although the texture we're going to use is of course different. And well as you can see we get this. Uh basically we can fix that with the texture like we did just now. And uh, what is going on? Why is uh, go to this and put it to flat. Sorry. Uh, as you can see, there we go. So I'm basically going off of this one at the moment and scale that one to size. Uh, moved over to the right. Alright, so the only disadvantage here is that every brick will get this same texture. Uh, I'm not sure how to fix this. Well, you could add as many bricks as you want, like just copy and paste it uh, and so forth. 
but otherwise I don't know of a way. So we're going to do the same with this one, but then we're going to pick another brick. So instead of going off of this one, let's go off of that one. Looks a bit darker. Uh, oh, okay, that's a bit too big. Uh, you can press uh, press E on the keyboard to move and T to scale. Uh, let's see, T. E. Alright, so as you can see, we just textured a whole wall like that. And uh, well, don't use top view perspectives because you get uh, because we are using the flat mode. We are basically projecting this line over the image so it stretches and I don't know if you hear heard it but there were fireworks going off at the moment there is uh, the soccer world cup uh, soccer world cup going on Netherlands between Spain don't know how they're doing Netherlands I don't know honestly I don't care so I'm going to go to the like it pro go to studios and let's add alleyway I think that will look nice uh, go to the camera delete the standard object or all right uh, turn off that again uh, I'm gonna group them together in a null by pressing alt G and rename it wall uh, going to move it up uh, around there seems fine. Right for output, I uh, I want something HD. So 1920, 1080. Wow, that is not the resolution I meant. So yeah. So now we've got a nice wide perspective, but the camera is a bit close. Like this is the edge. So here we can rescale the wall which I mean, I'm going to do, or you can move back the camera a bit but I wouldn't advise it since the stereo is set up perfectly and just do a quick test render and I must say that looks good like uh, although I'm not too happy about the distance between these two. Was it? Yeah. I just got to the wall. So we just decrease the spacing between breaks so that it might look a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, we get some nice shading here, but we're missing shading there, there, there. How do we fix that? Go back to your render settings or click this uh, button which will be most likely likely you will get a pop-up window I actually uh, added it to my layout so it's just ease of access so at ambient occlusion leave it now just standard settings global illumination you want to put on I IR and QMC still image Go back, render, and see how it looks. So this is going to take a while, since there is actually a background now. There is, well, a shade on the ground too, in counteraction with the one I showed you with, which was with a daylight studio with no floor, almost no shadows. So the global illumination has to calculate more shadows, light, lights, options, etc. So we're just going to wait it out. Uh, it's taking quite a while. I don't know if you can hear it, but my 